Hi guys, so since I haven't gotten my hands dirty in a couple days because I've been doing a lot of this de-stashing, well I don't know about a lot of de-stashing, but some, and um, organizing for sure, it feels weird to stand here and not see anything on my floor. Like, I have another video for you guys, I'm not gonna put it to, up today because I just did the haul, even though I filmed that haul yesterday and I filmed organizing this morning, but um, I don't want to overwhelm you guys, but also, you know, I want to do some product reviews. Um, I think what happened is, building up with diamond press and to the craft day. I just had so many things that um, I had to share and wanted to share obviously with the giveaways and everything. By the way, I have not heard from any of the winners of the um, the flower die set giveaway, which I just posted the results for. So please watch that you guys, because um, uh, it was kind of funny. I had mentioned to you guys, I don't know what flower die set they were referring to because I never got an image for it. And so uh, my contact there at Diamond Press said, oh, just choose whichever one you like and that's the one I'll send them. So that's really awesome. So of course I'll send like the biggest set they have. Okay? So that's what I'll request for whoever win it wins it. There are three winners and I guess I already posted that. So what I'm going to do is maybe check these out because everything's here. I, the next thing I want to do for sure is the uh, mystery box, I guess that I got from Crafters Companion that you can still pick up. It is sold out right now, but um, I know they had tons of them. And I have, I think, a three of them. I bought two and I have another one on the way. So, it's a CI-22. If you look up CI-22 or just CI-22 on Crafters Companion, you will see it. It's the Botanical Bliss. And somebody asked if there were videos on it. No, there aren't because um, it looks like a sub box, but that was never a sub box. So, that's the one I want to get my hands dirty with. But for right now, I thought, well, we'll try out these new packages, these new things they just came out with. I got them for just over $12. Yes, in that haul I just showed you guys, three bundles were missing. So um, I <laughs> emailed back to the same person that finally took care of the issues that I had from February, which was water, well, the February was a large folder had sold out, I guess, or, you know, this happens. They, they run out of things, they already sold it to you. Uh, sometimes they'll refund it before you even say anything, but most of the time they don't, you have to contact them. And it wasn't a problem when they had the California warehouse. I would just call them, they were awesome, got right on it. But for that one, they kept asking me to wait because I guess that's something that they get in kind of off often. They're like, oh, but when it comes in stock, they'll send it to you. But I'm like, how, who remembers that? Who is in charge of sending it once it comes in? Because I feel like that never happens. And so, um, so yeah, well, hold on, wait, arrange my seat, sorry. So it didn't happen. And then watercolor paper was missing from a pack. And then, oh, some flower layering sets I was supposed to get didn't come. And this was also from like February or whatever time frame. So I finally got an email back from them and I'm gonna tell you right now, I had emailed two or three times to uh, Crafters Companion at whatever customer, no, customer service at crafterscompanion.uk, something like that. Cause that's who you need to email now since the California place is closed. Um, but what I did was better and thank you guys whoever, oh gosh, I don't remember if it was Gail or maybe it was Gail. Gail, was it you? I think so. Uh, had said to go to the UK website and there do the contact us and it gives you a drop in form because what happens is you email them and there is no response. There's not even an automated response that says, Hey, we got your email. We'll take care of it soon or we'll get with you. No. So I don't know if they got the email or not. I'm waiting a week. I'm waiting days. Didn't hear from nothing. So um, I'm just letting you guys know because if you go on their site and you click on the contact form, it does send you an automatic reply. It says that they received it. They'll get in contact with you shortly. And then it took about four or five days from that. And they've responded to that contact form is what happened. I never got an email response um, on either of the other ones. So it is through email, but it was about the contact form that I had filled out. So I think that worked better. I'm just letting you guys know. So yeah, so in that set, these things did arrive, but the Gemini floral stamp and die selection was not there. The Spectrum Noir Aquatint card, and this is somebody else had left a message saying she also got portions. I got the spray bottles, I got the acetate, and I got the watercolor paper, but I did not get the Aquatints, which is like the most expensive part of that. I didn't get the um, uh, dies, and I didn't get the stamps. So <laughs> that to me is like a blowout. And then I didn't get the stamp collection. I don't know what the stamp collection is. What happens is I go back and I watch the videos of the shows that might've been on, but sometimes they have deals on their site just anyway, and then they're gone. So that was gone. I don't even know what stamp collection was, but I didn't get it. So, cause it wasn't in my <laughs> stuff, right? And then it was supposed to be a 13 piece of pigment ink pads, opaque pigment ink pads. I only got 12. So I went back and looked and the color parakeet was missing. So that's the one I didn't get. So I'm just letting you guys know, cause I know a lot of people are saying, hey, you know, I'm just waiting until they get their California office back again. Cause it's been crazy. Or, you know, I don't like waiting so long. And it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that you have to wait so long. I told you they gave me a refund for a $5 item in that one box. And then in this box, look at how many things. And really this one was 40 something dollars, the Aquatint pack, even with my discount, I believe, or it might've been like 38. Um, Close to 40, because it was 45, I think, is what they wanted for it. Um, 
that's not right. <laughs> you know, they should have just taken care of it right then and there. Um, or if they're sending it apart, say that or send me another email about having sent it. So I understand guys, I get it. So um, I, I'm kind of pretty much there myself. I didn't order anything this week. I ordered a ton of stuff last week. So we'll see what happens. So just a little housekeeping. I wanted to let you guys know because some people are concerned about ordering from them. And I'm just telling you what it is. I'm not gonna, you know, sugarcoat. And I do want you guys to get issues resolved if you have any, because I did hear from some people that haven't received, basically, like I said, that same kit kind of messed up or whatever. So let's start. This is the Modern Calligraphy. So they're putting out these new A Touch Of or a Taste Of, uh, what are these things called? Discovery kits, I guess. And so the ones I'm waiting for still in another order are probably the watercolor. Um, there was a manga one. And there was another one that looked like kind of watercolory. It might have been different. Um, they're, they have like 10 different of these. And they're uh, $15.96, I think is what they normally want. Of course, you have your discount plus any other discounts you put on top. So I think I got mine for about 12 bucks or just under 12 bucks. Um, yeah, for sure under 12 bucks. Yeah, I probably got them for like around 10 bucks because I think they were gonna be $12.96 and then I had 20% off on top coupon um, last week whenever this stuff came or I ordered it. So this is the um, modern calligraphy, like I said. So I have a lot of things like this and I'm already not that great at these kind of things, but it does have some live, love, laugh, just words. I mean, they're telling you kind of to hold it at a 30 to 40 degree angle. So you have maximum control and then they have an alphabet guide. This is good because you should do things like this to practice. Um, Cause those are the strokes you're gonna need. I don't know what else is in here. This is pretty to add um, flourishes. Of course, this is all the kind of stuff that you would see. I'm not sure how teaching, teaching, teachable. <laughs> I don't know. Um, created using a metallic marker, brush nib and amethyst. Use guide sheet. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. So that's pretty. I guess they're just saying there's like a little something. These are like inspirational sheets, I suppose. Live every moment, love beyond words. So here they use the art liner and then the pens. And it tells you on the back there. There are some papers. So really what you're paying for, to be honest, in these things is the pens or the markers or whatever. So that's why I kind of, I'm still waiting for another order that came before this one because I did order the ones I want. These are the secondary things I thought, well, maybe I'll get it anyway. So that's kind of how I looked at that. Like this doesn't really teach me much, but I'm sure you're supposed to go online um, and I, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> it doesn't have too, too much. An alphabet guide. Okay, so let's look at this stuff. And these are just regular pieces of paper. So, you know, for like around 10 bucks, I, I paid for these pens, really. So we have a, a purple um, metallic, spectrum metallic pen, and these are cool in that on one side, it's like a more of the um, brush nib. Let me bring this down here. So I did email back to the same lady that had fixed my other issues finally. And we'll see if she gets back to me because she did respond when I said thank you. So she emailed back. So I'm like, mm, maybe now she said, let me know if anything else comes. And I'm like, oh, I didn't think it was going to be that quickly that something else came up. But can you please check on this, this and this? And I asked her about my orders that are outstanding for March. We have a silver. And I already have all these in a box somewhere. I just don't use them too often. But you can do more with, them, with these than just writing. But as you can see, pretty nice. Um, nice brush tip and then a finer tip. And then we have the Spectrum Noir uh, Sparkle Pens. I have not used these to just write with. I've seen Sarah do it a couple times and it seems like it's okay. I'm not going to open this particular one, but since we're on this, what I'll do is um, get one that I've already opened and we'll try it for writing. And then your art liners are really pretty. I like the little silver detail from the clip. Really nice pen. And so we have a couple art liners in 0.5 and BR. Oh, this is like a brush. I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very fine. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is practice with these. I don't think there's anything to write home about, so I would just use this paper. And here we go. So it says you can use the examples opposite to practice and get a feel for applying and releasing pressure on your brush pen. So I am going to do it with this purple one. And basically, again, you are holding it kind of close to your angle. I'm gonna show you my angle would be like this, you know? And as you push down, you're applying the pressure and then up, right? And then if you wanna use it finely, just a tip, of course. Um, so just a tip, and then we're giving that pressure to the angle. Now this one's interesting because it's, 
it kind of wants to not be straight like this flat. Hopefully you see, I'm just trying to copy what's going on here. So maybe we need to work with it a little bit differently. There we go. And you would do these practices like over and over and over until they're exactly the same. Like this one, I would always be very gentle and then apply pressure. Be very gentle on the way up, apply pressure. And I'm not the best at this, but I'm just kind of showing you how you would practice. So keep practicing, practice, practice until it's always looking the same. So now you know that you've got that rhythm. So on this next one, that's like a U, you're pushing the pressure and then you pull up as you bring this up. Those are always the hardest, well for me, the upstroke. So again, I'm starting here, I'm applying pressure, I'm bringing it down, pulling up, putting less pressure, and then straight up. And as you can see, I need some help with that one. Again, and see, I had to let go up. So, you know, but a lot of times you can also just do that and then just finish it up. Because <laughs> a lot of times people can't tell how you got it mastered, but you want to do that. So this one's thin up, apply pressure, the release, and thin up. All right, so up, down stroke, pressure, up. And the next one's pressure, thin, letting it go, down. Uh, what I would do is definitely watch videos of people who do this all the time, and maybe not me, but again, like with this O, I'm totally doing it backwards, <laughs> you know? So it should come down, pressure, there we go. I haven't done this in a while, so I kind of have to, you know, I really do have to practice fine tip, let go and come up. That was not my favorite. I do like making like H's because you apply the pressure and then um, you come up and then you do your little thing and more pressure, you know? Same thing with P, like, oh, well, that's not a P, but that's kind of, and so they're showing you here um, what to do as far as the direction and all that. So that was those kind of pens. Let's try this thin, the BR pen. That's just an art liner. So what you would do with this art liner, again, like, um, and the other one is just add like detail to your letters, whatever they're doing. Okay, so it's nothing. That's what the art liner is here for. Um, let's see, this guy. Again, pressure. And then just a thin line. Thin line. Pressure. So let's just try a thin line up. Pressure down. This is very, very, very fine. And how about pressure... Ooh, this one I need to work with a little more. It's a nice pen, but again, you need thin lines, you need thicker, thicker. I'm not good at this. Let's try it again, going up and then down. It's because this one's going to make you a nice... I'm trying to make them bigger, I think, than what this pen is supposed to do, right? So if I was to do, like, um, come up and then push down for, like, the word happy, which I'm not going to do right now. Yeah, this works a lot better. Um... So this is for little things. Again, happy. I don't have no idea. <laughs> I'm just copying some of the lettering from over here. Um, not my favorite. So again, I have to do some learning about this, but okay. So there's that. Let me grab a sparkle pen so you can see kind of how a sparkle pen writes, and then we'll move on to the next. Uh, okay, I have pen. open sparkle pens. I cannot find not even a one. So let's go ahead and just open this up to show you anyway. You remove this green thing. You put it right back on here and it'll pop in there because it bursts whatever's going on here. And you want to give it a shake because um, the sparkly stuff is just kind of probably stuck in one spot. And that's probably not enough, but it's enough for now. So I'm going to push this and I don't know if you could see that. Some color just squirted in here and I can see it's coming down to the barrel. And I can see it's super sparkly. <laughs> so I would not do this right on top of your project. I would try this out, see? That's why you don't want to do it right on top of your project. And this is why I thought it was kind of weird that you would use this for writing. But okay, I'm just going to fill it up. I'm not going to squeeze it right now. I just have enough ink in there that I'm kind of... I've never tried this, so let me see. So this is going to be for big lettering. <laughs> I don't see how you can control this to make it something small. Right? Because, I mean, I, I don't know. So I've seen Sarah use this before, and she writes like her name or something, and to me it just doesn't... It's not what I'm looking for in a, in a calligraphy or brush lighting, but if you guys use it, let me know how you use it. And if you use it in this manner. It does have a lot of juice, I'm not even squeezing it again. But look at that. Ooh. I don't know. That's the worst. And let me go ahead and bring in... 
for there we go. I'm gonna close this up. That is not my favorite for this. And who's out there? Are they bringing me packages? Is it more packages? <laughs> okay, so then you would kind of take this guy and maybe, I don't know what they do over here. So again, they used it here to write modern a few times. Um, I saw it on here, here, this one. They just traced around like the letters a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So again, to me, you're basically just paying for the, um, I don't know if that's a place, place to put that. You're just paying for the, the supplies, right? The pens themselves. I'm not doing this at all. How is they recommending there? I don't know. I've never done this, but it just adds a little something. Okay. All right. So again, that's up to you, the value for these, you know, five pens. Now I got to put this away Price standing up. Actually, I need to look at that, look into that. I'd rather keep them laying down because it, you know, the pigment lies a certain way. Okay, so then we have this guy, and this is Baz Fernell. Sorry, I didn't mention the gal's name. Let's mention the gal's name. So we support these ladies. Winterbird. So I'm assuming Winterbird probably does YouTube videos. I don't know. You guys can let me know. And so it's three tri-blends, which is already a great price. for. Three. If you don't have any tri-blends, this is probably a good way to get into that because that's a good value right there, um, especially if you get it with your discounts. So we have tri-blends, three of them. We have the coral blend, the light green blend, and the true blue blend, which are gorgeous. And then we have a 0.1 liner and a 0.3. So between these three, I have three different size liners, which is nice. And let's see, we have three sheets of cardstock. It's probably marker type cardstock, I don't know. And then we have these that are already mandala out for you. So it's like three coloring sheets to try. And it has some information here. Uh, you'll be amazed at the depth, dimension, and all-around versatility of the pens, art liners, fast-drying pigment. Ink is perfect for drawing clean, consistent lines instantly over color without smearing. When you choose paper, keep in mind alcohol marker paper, which we know that. Um, you know, obviously, how to do our... Um, not fading, what's the word? Coloring, I guess. Just coloring, right? So what Sarah was pointing out, what this guy's talking about here is think about where is your light source. And that's always an issue for me when I color. But for this one, what he's saying is start at the top kind of lightly and then color darker, darker as you go down on the mandala so that you have like some depth here. Now, mine is not going to be anyway the same as this, but let's look at it. Apply your first layer of flat color. Remember to leave white space where your lightest highlights will be. Then according to your light source, you can start building dimension. So again, they always, this is like when you have a color, like a book that tells you how to draw and it goes from one thing to the next and you're like, okay, what happened? <laughs> so he did like green in here, a little bit darker. Um, make sure the areas facing the light source kept white and then continue the process redefining with the mid and light areas as you work. So I don't know about any of that, but let's <laughs> use that same one. To be honest, this is kind of scary. I probably won't waste your time and mine here doing this, but these are great pens. So I, you know, they're good. So the lightest color is light green. And then they have a mid color. I already have a review, probably the first review I think ever on YouTube about these other than whatever Crafters Companion put, put out. But he's basically saying to go ahead and just color all this in. It's not so easy to come back and darken up stuff that's already super dried. So usually you color in sections. That's why it kind of surprised me. This says to go ahead and color everything um, with the light color. So, I mean, that's up to you. But again, I think that's why I like the manga kit a little better because it's going to be coloring in people and stuff like that. So let's say you did that and you did it a little more, um, you know, in here, I don't know, I'm trying to cut, copy a little bit of what they're showing there. And then you go to the mid color and maybe the mid color starts darkening this area here and maybe just around the very base of this area. And then I'm going to introduce the darkest, darkest green, like down here in this area, just to keep it like lighter to dark. But still, is that the light one? Yes. Trying to get a nice blend. 
So I've noticed what happens when a color is very, very light and you go to do this, you basically obliterated the medium color. It kind of just goes away. So let's go back to medium and add in a little bit more while the ink is still wet. So that's kind of how I would do it. I, I, you know, I would like to make a review review for you guys, but this is going to take forever. But hopefully you can see that there's already some change in depth of color between those. Like this is all light green, but you can see the light to the dark there. It looks really nice. And then I would go, okay, this is also light, but again, that's why you do sections at a time. So this is a light green and we have our medium that I put kind of in here and we'll put a little more down here and then we'll go in with the dark finally to bring in some of that dark at the very base of this area and maybe down in here and then go back to the medium, <laughs> kind of help you blend that out and then go back to the light. So normally you lay down your light in as much space as you would like. You go into your medium, you go into the dark, then go back out to blend out the medium if the dark kind of obliterates it and then get that light back in there. So hopefully you're kind of seeing that. I'm not the best colorist. I'm not gonna pretend to sit here and say, oh, I can do all this and it's gonna look great. But, um, but it looks really nice. I think it's fun. All right. Good value for uh, what's in here as far as, and, and even if you do have the tri blends already, you know, you have some refills here, but um, these are really pretty colors. I think very useful colors. Um, the coral blend here, I'll just show you guys real quick. Um, again, light. Mid. Kind of blend that in there. And then the dark. And then I go back over with the light, kind of obliterate that line there, and mid. Hopefully you can kind of see the gradation there. And the uh, true blue, another very pretty color. That's the lightest color in the true blue, okay, so mid. Nice and juicy. I've never received a tri blend that wasn't juicy. I know sometimes with the old Spectrum Noirs, you might get one that's already dried out. But these guys are, have always worked really well. Again, going over with the light, going over with the mid, and here. And what happens is the lighter color bleaches out the darker color, so that's what kind of helps you get a, a gradation. So this might not be the best gradation ever in the world. I'm not really trying, but you would just keep <laughs> blending, 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 okay? Keep going over those same spots, but I think it's pretty good. The light one, where's light? This blend right here is kind of... All right, so that's a little better. Okay, uh, cute kits. I can't, you know, I'm looking forward to, I guess I can't wait, I can't look forward <laughs> to getting the uh, manga one. That one's run. I, that one is very cute and very different for um, Spectrum Noir, right? For Crafts Companion, I think. But it's just a little try me kit, so um, that'll be fun. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that gave you a little peek into kind of what these are about and if the value is there for you. I think, I think they're well-priced. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now. <laughs>